Hi, I'm Donna Merkt from the South Dakota Art Museum. And today I'm sharing with you a museum to go activity. We are going to create a winter scene. Now today, you will need these supplies to create your winter scene. One piece of black paper, one piece of chalk, two white paper circles, two googly eyes, one triangle of orange paper for the carrot nose, two pom-poms, one chenille stem piece, one crepe paper piece, glue sticks and glue dots, a crayon or pencil, and glitter or stickers. Now you'll also see that we have some alternative supplies listed there for you. And we hope you are able to join us at Frostfest and pick up this craft kit. Today's activity is inspired by a painting by South Dakota artist Harvey Dunn. This is his painting, which was done with oil paint on canvas called Winter Night. And we've been seeing many of these snowy, cold winter nights in South Dakota recently. I really like this piece because it, it has some mystery to it. I wonder what some of these things are. Am I looking at a snowy field here? Or could this potentially be a frozen lake with snow on top? Are these stars in the background of the night sky? Or is that fresh snow falling? And I like the little images here of the buildings in the background. And I wonder if they're houses or barns. And I think about the people or animals that could be cozy and sleeping there on this lovely winter night. The other thing I really enjoy about this artwork is all the different colors that you see. It's not just black and white, like the image we'll make today. Instead, you see lots of pink and blue and violet and green and all these other colors, these nice cool colors uh, in this image. So the next time that you go out on a snowy night, you should look and see what colors you might see besides black and white. Now let's look at our piece again at what we'll be creating. So we're doing a guided activity today and we're creating this snowman. But if you didn't want to create a snowman, you just wanted to create a winter scene, you could certainly use some of the techniques we'll talk about today to be able to create just a landscape uh, with your supplies. Okay, let's go ahead, ahead and get started. So I've got my, my piece here as my example. So you can see that he's a little bit three-dimensional. Some of his attributes, his scarf and his eyes and his um, earmuffs really stick out from the paper but then other things are very flat and just two-dimensional. So let's make sure I have all of my supplies. So I have here a black piece of paper and a glue stick and chalk and a crayon. Now remember you could use any kind of writing utensil. And then also from my kit, I have all these supplies which will help make our snowman. So there's my piece of chenille stem and the pom-poms that we'll use for his earmuffs and the piece of crepe paper for his scarf and a couple of circles cut from paper for his body and head and then some blue dots and all these kind of little things here. We've got some uh, snowflake glitter and also Google eyes and nose. So I'm just gonna separate out all my supplies. I also have a tissue here because it kind of helps with smearing the chalk and also uh, with my hands. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is thinking about 
what kind of landscape that I want to draw. So I think it's kind of nice to think about a foreground, the front of your artwork, a middle ground, and a background. So what's going to be in the front, what's going to be in the middle, and what's going to be in the back? And when things are in the front, they have to be closer to you, and so they're lower on your paper. Whereas as they get farther away from you, you'll see them depicted higher on the paper. So I'm going to start just by drawing a line to mark maybe a little bit of a hill that the snowman will sit on. And I, I want to see some snow on that hill. So I'm just going to kind of color that in with the side of my chalk. Notice I'm not making it all the way colored in because chalk is really a powder. And as it sits on the paper, we're going to use the tissue or our fingers to move it around a little bit and get it how we want it to look. But we don't need to do that just yet. So I think I'm going to do a couple of other little hills back here, maybe for the um, middle ground. And then I want to think about what's back here in the background. I don't know. I did a, I did a tree last time. So maybe I'll do that again. I'm just going to draw kind of a trunk and be thinking about this snowy tree off in the distance. You know, a, another fun thing to, to draw might be some clouds, some snowy clouds, or even maybe a moon. So think about what you would like to see in your winter landscape. Now this looks a lot different than what I have right here, and that's because I haven't got to play with it yet. We're going to smear it around a little bit just to kind of distribute some of that chalk to make it a little softer and a little more like snow. So you can do this with your finger. This will probably give you the most control because the oils on your finger are going to kind of help move that chalk around on the paper. But if you don't like the feeling of it, you can also use a tissue or a paper towel or even a cotton ball and move it around. And I think it's okay to get a little bit outside of the lines. You know, have a little fun with it. Now, if you, if you take more of it off than you want to and you want it to be a brighter white, you can always come back in and add a little bit more of the pigment. And if you know where your snowman's going to sit and you think, oh, maybe, maybe he's going to be right here, you might want to wipe a little bit of it off because that makes it a little bit easier for the glue to stick. Now, just remember, we can always kind of come back with the chalk and add more pigment or, excuse me, more chalk as we go. All right, I'm going to give a little bit of a... Pat there for my clouds and my tree. So it looks a little snowy and a little mysterious out there. And I think now it's time for me to assemble the snowman. So I'm going to actually put the snowman on with a glue stick. So your glue stick, I like the one that has the purple because you can see how much glue you're adding. You want to add a good amount of glue to your glue stick. I mean, to your, to your circle for your snowman. So he sticks really good. Whoops, I got a little glue right there. Sometimes it's all right. In art, we make mistakes, but most of the time they can just disappear and no one will know they're there. So I'm gonna stick the bottom circle on first. Okay. And make sure that I rub it around and adhere it really good. And I'm going to add the snowman's head or snow lady if some of you have decided you want to make a, a girl snow person. Okay, so that gives us the body of the snowman. And now we're going to add the eyes and the nose and all the other little accoutrements that make it a snowman. So let's start with the eyes. So the eyes actually, if you got the kit from us, have a sticker back. So you just have to kind of get the sticker off. 
Um, and if it's a little too hard to do, you can just glue it on. But if you can pull it off, you don't have to use any glue. And you can just stick on the eyes wherever you want them. I think I want my snowman to look like he's kind of looking this way a little bit. Like he's turning his head that way. So I'm going to put the eyes a little bit more in that direction. Okay, now I'm going to use the glue stick to attach the nose. So I'm just going to rub the little piece of orange paper onto the glue stick. Okay, now I'm going to add on the, um, the earmuffs. So you have two glue dots if you got the kit. If not, you can do this with a glue stick or with school glue, but you're going to want to put a little bit of glue wherever you want those earmuffs to be. So I'm sticking down the glue dots and then pulling off the paper. And then I'm going to take this little piece of pipe cleaner, or if you're using yarn, you can do the same thing. And I'm attaching it right on top of those glue dots. I'm not covering the whole glue dot because I need to use a little bit of the adhesive to have the pom-pom stick. And if you're using a bit of yarn, you may want to put a little bit of adhesive underneath to hold it more flat because the yarn could flop over. But if you're using a pipe cleaner or Chanel stem, you won't need to. Oh, so now I'm going to stick on those earmuffs so my snowman looks nice and cozy. Now I'm going to make the scarf with this little piece of paper. This is crepe paper but you may have be using a piece of ribbon. And if so, you'll be probably attaching it the same way that we are, and that's with a glue stick. So this is the scarf. Of course, if you wanted to, you could make it into a bow tie or anything else, but I'm just gonna put some glue right here to hold the snowman scarf. And then I'm gonna fold it in half long ways like a hot dog and then I'm just gonna twist the end a little bit that's the kind of the part of the scarf that's the knot that's flying off in the wind you know just press that down on the glue and make sure it makes good contact now doesn't that snowman look cozy now I'm gonna use my um you can use a crayon or you could perhaps use a uh, pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and draw those pieces in that might be buttons or coal, or you could even choose to draw stick arms if you wanted to. And maybe a little bit of a smile. I hope you have a happy snowman. Okay, so now we can go back in with our chalk and add any additional highlights that we might want to add. And highlights are areas in our art that we really want to stand out. So think about them as the places where maybe the moon might be shining. When in our winter nighttime scene, we get a little bit extra oomph with that white chalk. And you may even want to put in some snow. Don't forget, if you picked up the kit from us, we still have snowflakes to add. And that is my favorite part, to add these fun snowflakes. Now, if you got the kit from us, be careful because some of the pieces of snowflakes are actually more than one piece stuck together. So just kind of flick them with your fingers a little bit to see if there are more than one, so that you can have as many snowflakes as, as you need. So we're gonna do these like we did the orange nose. And we're going to just put the snowflake directly on the glue stick and then stick them 
on our paper. Got a little blue extra there. Don't worry, it dries clear. So where are your snowflakes gonna go? Are they gonna be in the foreground? Are they falling all the way down here? Are they falling in front of your tree? Notice how some snowflakes are bigger and some snowflakes are smaller. They have different scale. There we go. I think that is enough snowflakes for me. Now, please remember to always sign your art. And your grown-ups always really appreciate it when you put a year. And this year is 22. I hope you've enjoyed making our snowman activity today with Museum to Go. And we look forward to seeing you the next time you visit the South Dakota Art Museum.